I've been working on a steady rest for a while now. I thought I'd show you what I've done and uh, how far I've come, come today. The steady rest is from my American pacemaker, obviously. And it's uh, based on a design I found in uh, American Toolworks catalog. And the capacity of the steady rest is uh, 250 millimeters or 10 inches. Originally, I designed it so it would have a capacity of uh, 200 millimeters or 8 inches. But then uh, somebody gave me uh, the idea to put the uh, rollers inside the fingers and not on the outside. And this gave me an extra 2 inches of swing. <clears throat> and the um, steady is made from Watercut uh, 1045 steel. It's uh, 1.5 inches thick. Uh, after I got the uh, water cut parts, I realized that most of the rests are made from cast iron due to the vibration dampening in nature of cast iron. We will see how it works, uh, but if the 1045 uh, version that I'm making now uh, rings like a bell when I'm turning something, I will order new pieces uh, cut from cast iron instead. Uh, in these pictures here, I'm making the first mistake, as the first cut of the whole project is made. The slot I'm cutting here should have been in the upper part of the steady rest, not the lower part. I didn't notice this mistake until I was uh, drilling the holes for the finger holders in the lower part. Then uh, I realized the holes uh, would interfere with the cutout. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see later how I fixed the uh, mistake. Yeah, I'm uh, cutting the slot for the clamping bolt. And this is the two pieces cut uh, wrongly put together. Cutting the slot for the fingers. This went pre pretty nicely. And I'm using a Sonic uh, R390 end mill. It was a 20 mm diameter, I think. I don't have any video of the drilling and uh, tapping for the hold on studs. Uh, it's too bad, really, because uh, I power tapped M16 and it went uh, really smoothly. This is how the study rest looked after drilling and tapping for the three studs. Here's the steel for the fingers on top of the drawings. This is the pin uh, that the clamp bolt rotates on. 
The pin is made from bearing bronze. Here's the drawing of the finger adjusters. I learned from the first mistake and finished the drawings before doing any cutting. It paid off uh, because I had the extra raw stock cut in case I made a mistake. But all the six, six pieces came out without mistakes. Here we're trying to fix the blender from the start of the project. What I did was cut off the machined ends of both the upper and the lower part of the stud rest. Then I welded on new pieces with the room for machining. It would have been much better to use bracing, but I don't have the equipment for that. I hope I can get that pretty soon. The MIG weld was really hard and it was uh, tough going in some places, especially the slot in the lower part was difficult. Really deep with lots of hard weld at the bottom. In the, end, uh, in the end, I made it work with a very long carbide end mill. That's uh, all the pictures and video I have uh, of the project so far. I wish I'd taken more video. But I'll try to do that when I'm making the final parts. This is how far uh, the steady rest has come. There isn't uh, really many parts left. Um, what's left are the, the bushings here. Uh, the two part that bushing, you can see it in the draw drawings I showed you earlier. And then uh, the head for this adjustment screw. That will move everything. So. And I get either the pacemaker together or the CNC machine get power to that. Uh, then we can make those parts. So there's one, two, three. There's uh, six parts there, and uh, the shaft there. And then I have to finish the bottom part, the clamp. And Maybe I'll make a screw to go to there, or maybe I'll just uh, use the screw that I bought. Oops. The ruler beside there is uh, 45 centimeters. So you can see here the whole thing is uh, 45 plus. Oh, it's about. It's about 60 centimeters tall. Everything together. And here, here you can see the repair work I did after I changed my mind, so to speak. And then you can have a look at one of the fingers. Pretty tight. Here, so roller there. There's the part for adjusting. It's uh, flathead screws. Inside here is uh, just I have just used a roughing end mill. So we'll uh, pro probably get back to this steady rest uh, when one of the machi other machines are ready to do some work.